Okay, let's have a quick look at all the features which if available in every custom home in 2024, that custom home will become one of the best custom homes, at least for me, which are those features. Let's just have a quick look. First is the quick setting transparency, quite underrated feature, but it's available in only few of the custom homes. What this is, if I adjust this transparency, which is available at just at top, this one quick settings options. If I choose to 50, for example, 50% and open the quick settings panel, this is how the quick settings panel is looking like. It looks like that quick settings panel is now transparent or maybe blur is enabled. Quite underrated as I just mentioned, but it's a very useful thing. If it is present here, it's good. Second is background chip. This is also one of the quite useful things. If you enable this feature in the status bar, the clock actually looks quite good, quite impressive actually. You can even adjust some of these styles if available in custom room, but we are not going to talk about that because that's optional. Another thing is the battery styles. Battery style is battery indicator is actually one of the most interesting things in a custom room. And if this option is present, it's a great thing. For example, if I choose iOS 16 style, that looks good. You also have the quick settings panel style option, which is a very useful thing. If you enable this thing, if it is available in your custom room, I mean, if you are bored with the default quick settings panel UI, if these options are present here, it's good. Of course, I know that you can enable these options very easily with the help of Iconify. But if these options are available by default, that's good. Another thing is, and most of the people, most of the users will agree to this, is Android 11 style quick settings panel. Default Android 12, 14 or 13 or 12 style quick settings panel doesn't look good for some of the users. But if the option is present here to adjust the Android 11 style quick settings panel, that feels quite good. In some of the custom homes, it's available by default. In some, you have to adjust the rows and columns, etc. to make it completely look like Android 11. Some of you might not love this, but some of you will love this thing. Moving on to another option, which is a very useful thing, is the volume panel styles. Volume panel is quite useful thing, actually. And if you enable this option in the terms of theming, this could be a very useful thing. This could be a very useful choice, actually. The theming options includes this volume panel style too, which is a very useful thing. Another quite underrated feature is the power menu has the option for restart system UI. I found in some of the custom homes, unfortunately, is this option is not present here. You have the option to reboot to fast boot, recovery or etc. But you do not have the option to restart the system UI, which is a very needed thing. And it's available here in this one. So if it is available in your custom room, it's quite good. Another thing is the retaker notification. Right now, while making this video, a lot of custom homes brings you the option named as island notification, but the previous retaker notification was quite good. And if it is present in your custom home, um, I guess that could be a good option or a good choice for you. Including this one, one more thing is ignore window secure flags. That is also quite, quite useful thing. If it should, if it is present in your custom room, this is so amazing. This is so useful. It should be there. And I guess you would love this thing to use because it simply removes the screenshot and screen record limits from most of the apps. We also have the clear calling feature. Actually, I thought that this feature is only specific to some Google Pixel devices, but it's available in some other devices. For example, in my case, I installed it on my Mi 11X. The custom home is Cherish OS. It's present here. So if this option is present here, this could be a very useful thing for you. It reduces the background noise during calls. One more thing is app locker. I personally don't use app locker much, but when I need to use, if it is present in the system and not in the launcher, this is a very good thing. This is a very useful thing. It's present here in the system. And if it is present in your case, I think so. That is also one of the reasons if your custom home is actually good enough to use as a daily driver, because every feature what you need is present here. One more thing let me tell you is the hide IME space. I always talk about this feature and if this feature is present here, then yes, of course, your custom home is so good to use because this is quite underrated and actually quite useful thing. The simply, simply the space below the keyboard. And yes, you can hide that with the help of hide IME space option. Unfortunately, not present in most of the custom rooms, but in some custom room it's present. So yes, check it out. So these were the features which I just listed are actually the great features which if it, if present in your custom room, your custom room is actually so good. So enjoy your custom room. Thanks for watching and goodbye.